All right, so this is just a video of some tips and tricks I found in Fallen. So yeah, let's get to it. Enjoy. All right, for the first tip, it's just basically a comparison of walking on sand and walking on snow. As you can see, it's very silent. So try and walk on sand and snow as much as you can. So for the second tip is about shovels. As you can see, digging it up with your hand, digging up trash piles with your hand is very slow. And then now digging it up with a regular shovel is faster. And then a steel shovel is the fastest. So use the steel and it does more damage. So this one is actually my most useful tip. If you're in your base and people are door camping you, or even you just don't want to go outside, you can place a full, like, as you can see, like a full extension of your two by two without even leaving your door. You can't upgrade, but you can place it, which is extremely useful. For the next tip is about placing sleeping bags. So the first bag in an area will be blue. And if you try to place a second one, it'll be yellow, which means that if you respawn at one of the bags, uh, the timers will be on max timer for both of them. So just move away, get your second bag to be blue, and you should be good. This next one is kind of basic, but hold right click and drag to a different part of your inventory to split something perfectly in half for furnaces. This next tip is about uh, slash killing, like getting a new location, new spawn point for wipe days. If you slash kill for a new location, still don't get the new location, you can drown yourself and then the slash kill timer will be reset again if you get unlucky enough to get another bad spawn. So yeah, this is very useful for wipe days. I use it all the time. So this one is about every single ladder in the game, whether that be a monument ladder like here in Scav Hideout or it be a ladder you place down. If you go to any side of it at all, it, you don't have to be in the middle of the ladder. You can climb off the side. It's just how Roblox works. And I find it useful if I'm just trying to get just a tiny bit more cover, you know? Maybe they accidentally hit the ladder while I'm climbing up. Now on the topic of ladders, if you just feel like being a jerk, you can place a ladder in front of someone's door to prevent them from coming out, which is useful during raids or if you're door camping someone or whatever, you know, you can just be a dick. So in Scav Hideout, I found this one uh, location that you can hold perfectly both entrances to the top like recycling area. Uh, you can even shoot through the hole if you need to, and you have an escape route. So it's pretty much the perfect location if you're being held at like the first floor or something or someone's outside trying to get up. It's really good. Yeah, so shooting people is like very hard to do if they're in the water. So if you ever need cover, just go in the water. This dude was mad at me and, you know, he couldn't hit a shot. I'm actually surprised at how little, like, people, like, actually didn't know about this because a couple of people asked me. So the fishing ends on the map are actually safe zones that you can go to and recycle safely. There's barrels, there's crates here, there's pretty much everything you can ask for. And you can, yeah, you can recycle safely. And if you really want to, you can gamble over here at the Plinko machine. See, I put all in and five. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. And then I proceeded to win big. So yeah, it's actually pretty useful. Now on the topic of bases, pretend you just meet a dude and he's acting a little suspicious, but you don't have the heart to kick him just yet. But you also don't trust him. You can just put guess codes. Now, they will be able to enter your base, but they won't be able to change your codes so that they can't fully inside you, which, you know, it's a win. It's a win and a loss because he can still enter your base and steal your loot, but he can't change your codes. So this is for anyone really down bad on scrap. Broken fuses uh, after like using it can still be recycled or for scrap, which if you need it that bad, there you have it. Again, on the topic of being down bad, if you really are out of glue, you can recycle duct tape for glue. And if you're really out of low grade, you can recycle up to two glue for one animal fat, which isn't that good. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Now, this one's probably my second most useful tip. So for deer, you know, the things around the map that kind of look like deer, 
uh if you get anywhere near them i think it's like a four or five meter radius they will run away from the like the direction that you came from so if you're ever sneaking up on somebody and you're by a deer don't it'll give away your location in instantly because any experienced player will know a deer only runs when someone's near next if you're sneaking up on someone and you need information in any way crouch jumping makes no noise so feel free to do it it might give away your location like someone can see you but it won't make noise if you're ever an aspiring content creator you want to make thumbnails you want to make videos the button m gets rid of everything on your screen related to like falling so you can just have a cinematic view all right so this next one my last one actually is great to make a habit because if you press left alt it's called alt look and basically it lets you look in any direction without changing what direction you're sprinting so it's very useful it'll it'll give you the advantage in a lot of uh, situations so yeah make a habit of it